What's up YouTube? This is your boy G back in another video. Today we're just gonna unbox another Wi-Fi range extender. I purchased this from Lazada from TP-Link official store. The model number there is TP-Link RE505X AX1500 compared to the one that I purchased last time which is this and this is the TP-Link uh, TLWA855RE. All right, though the main difference uh, for this two, this is 2.4 gigahertz only, maxing out uh, around 300 Mbps. And as you can see, this is dual band featuring five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz, maxing out 300 and five at maxing out at 1200 Mbps. This is how it looked like. It says it's Wi-Fi 6 now compared to the previous one. It's not yet Wi-Fi 6. Connect more devices, uninterrupted streaming, faster Wi-Fi 6 again easy setup in a minute so again i'm going to show you how to set it up um, via the graphical user interface that's what i found very easy for me but let's go ahead and open this up all right let's just check really quick here so again usual you just gotta have those papers right and then nothing else manual and sorts right so just keep that and this is now the repeater whoa man that antenna is thick thick let's so let's see looks like a router already it's substantially bigger than the wa88re so this is the 2.4 gigahertz right this one but this one is substantially bigger man that's looking good it's the big brother here little brother there right man that is huge. So I'm going to set this up again, connect the 5G, and we'll compare the speeds and um, see if it's substantially better than this, if it's worth the price. Again, I purchased this for about 700 pesos in Lazada, and this one is around 2,800 pesos in Lazada. So let's see if the price is actually worth it. I'll be right back. All right, we're back. I'm now on my personal computer that is using wireless Wi-Fi dongle, you know? So we're just gonna connect this to the TP-Link extender. I have it plugged into the socket near to the uh, converged router right now as per the instruction. And um, I actually just um, detected a TP-Link extender and connected to it, right? So the next thing that we need to know is what's the IP address that it has, right? Uh, so that we can access the user interface. So we can do this, um, you know, in two ways again. So we can go to open network internet settings, change adapter settings. You can click that, or you can even go to the network and sharing center first and then change adapter settings there. It's just gonna go to the same page. So just right click on the Wi-Fi adapter and go to the status and click on details. All right, now when you're in the details, we are looking for the default gateway. So it says it's 192.168.0.254. So that's what um, we're after. You can also um, find that by running the Windows R, you know, typing CMD so that you can launch the command prompt. And then just typing IP config there. And we're looking for again, default gateway 192.168.0.54. So it's the same. Um, we're now gonna launch a browser and type that into the browser so that we can access the user interface. All right, so 192.168.0.254. So just go ahead and press enter. It's gonna ask you to set up a password. Let me just put one, two, three, four, five, six, just for the sake of this testing. All right, and hit start. So if you notice, it's now scanning the 2.4 gigahertz um, network followed by the five gigahertz host network and then completing the wireless setup and then asking us to relocate it. So I'm going to select the 2.4 um, signal that I have from my converged router here. Let me type the password. All right, I just put the password there and now it's asking to um, connect the five gigahertz and it's also detecting the five uh, gigahertz signal of, of my modem, of my router essentially. So let me just um, select that and put the password. After that's just gonna put some summary on it, your like your um, ID and then the password. And as you can see, you can change the SSID there of the extension if you want to change it. Me, I'm just gonna keep it this way. It's just using the Huawei or the original wireless routers um, SSID and then adding an extension on it or underscore EXT. So let's just go ahead and click on next. 
it's now rebooting to apply the settings. So we're gonna check it out. All right, so it's done rebooting. It's now asking me to relocate the extender. So let's check this out. Relocate your extender to optimize Wi-Fi corporation performance. Plug in the extender about halfway between your router and the Wi-Fi dead zone. The location you choose must be within the range of the host network. Wait for about two minutes until the signal LED um, turns solid blue. If it doesn't, relocate the extender a little bit closer to the router to achieve better signal quality. So it's just showing here, you know, just go to the border line of the signal range of your current router and just put it in there. If you're too far, it might show red light. So, you know, go back a little bit closer. So I'm going to unplug this from where it is right now next to the router and place it to the other room where I usually place my extenders. And then we're going to conduct some speed tests, right? We're going to conduct some speed tests on 2.4 uh, gigahertz, of course, the, the five, the, the router itself, so that we can compare if it's worth it worth getting this one, you know, a little bit costly than the first one that I got. I'll be right back. All right. So we're back. Um, if you notice, um, if you click the Wi-Fi, it's now detecting the EXT, right? The Huawei 2.4 EXT. Um, this one is not detecting the 5G because my wireless module is not 5G capable. It's just on my PC 2.4. So later on, we're gonna test on my mobile phone, right? That is capable of 5G. But let me try uh, connecting to the 2.4 and let's see what speed it's gonna give us. All right, so when you click on finish there, um, it's gonna ask you to put the password again that we put earlier. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're now inside this um, graphical user interface, right? It's just asking you if you wanna uh, connect it to the cloud so you can use the app and all. I'm gonna do that later on. But um, on the home page, you have a couple of items here, status, wireless, network, advanced settings, system tool, one mesh, and TP-Link cloud. So you can see um, it's showing you both network 2.4 gig and um, 5 gig are already extended, ready in range, and that um, you also have some representation here of the connection. Both signals are being repeated, right? Being extended. You know, if you want to set it up, you know, if you want to think or you want to play around, you can go here on the wireless settings and then connect it to a different network. If you want, um, you can you can disable a certain um, network. If you want, you can disable the 2.4 and just enable the 5. Um, you, you can hide the SSID. You can do a lot of stuff here, of course. So it's a typical like a router user interface, right? Um, you can go to the network and um, you can specify static IP. So if you don't want DHCP to kick in, you can just put some static IP so that you will always have that. It's never going to change. By the way, as soon as you connect into this um, TP-Link extender, like what we did, it says you can click on finish and it's automatically gonna go back to this page. Um, or you can just type tplinkrepeater.net all right tplinkrepeater.net and it's going to give you this page so this is through or running on that um 2.4 gig across the room so i'm getting 45 mbps for the downstream rate and latency of about 5 you know ping up about 5 milliseconds so pretty good but right now this result 45 mbps and 49 around 50 right is via the extender by the huawei extender by 2.4 gigahertz now let me connect directly to that 2.4 gigahertz connection of the converge without the extender and run a couple of speed tests again all right so we're connected let me just click on go here and let's see if, we, if it's uh, gonna be a little bit higher or the same all right pretty much the same, but let me disable the Wi-Fi and get into the gigabit ethernet connection. And let's just, uh, you know, check that out. The ethernet connection, um, should go or should connect to the Huawei. As you can see, it's also Huawei 2.4 gig. So the speed that we're getting directly connected to our router is 419 Mbps download downstream and upstream is 200. Now, again, I don't have, um, 5g here. So let me just pull up my phone here. All right, so we're now on my mobile phone here. Um, let's make sure that we're connected to the extender, right? So let me just switch there. Huawei 5G underscore EXT. That's our extender for 5G. So let's go ahead and run a, a speed test. And let's see what we're getting.
All right, so it looks like we're getting about 132 for download and um, 122 for upload, which is not bad. The extender is a little bit farther from from my router, uh, you know, a couple of walls and doors, and it's in a different room. So for us to have uh, more than 100 is actually good. All right, remember, we're getting around 140, right? Or around 100 something, 150, 140 on the extender. <clears throat> And then on the actual um, router, we're getting around 425 for download and about 234 for upstream rate. Now, again, it's better because that's a little bit farther. It's extending it. Of course, it's um, substantially lowering down because 5G is notorious on walls and, you know, uh, barriers we get a couple of walls and doors it's a different room but i'm happy that it's ma it managed to deliver more than 100 mbps because when you go to 2.4 i'm just getting 20 mbps on the on the last router if you remember right so this is actually really good all right but that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching again that is the tp link Wi-Fi 6, all right? So it's Wi-Fi 6 range, range extender, AX1500 dual band. So it has about 1200 Mbps maximum speed for five gigahertz and about 300 Mbps for 2.4. So I purchased it from Lazada. I'm just gonna put the link down below. This is not a sponsored, um, you know, a post, but TP-Link, baka naman, nakakadalawa na ako. So, but can the man? But this is not sponsored in any way. I, I'm just really fond of these things and I really need the extender uh, for my usage downstairs and for my wife uh, usage downstairs as well. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Click the like button if you like this video. Comment down below what are your thoughts on this Wi-Fi extender. Do you think it's worth it? You know, are you going to get one yourself? Let's go ahead and comment down below. Usap tayo. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. I do, you know, a couple of unboxing from here and there. I will also do and continue my Netflix reviews, movies, movies reviews in the future. So watch out for that. Make sure you're subscribed. But... Yeah, that's all for today. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe, guys. And see you on my next one.